Hi everybody, it's me again. I'm reverse engineering Thomas. So I just took this, instead of doing all the math, took this, filled it a quarter of the way full with chickpeas. I'm dumping that in my Instant Pot. We're going to make them and then I'll blend them up when they're done. And instead of putting the um, uh, red pepper in it while it's, you know, while I'm uh, going to blend it, I'm just going to chop up some mini peppers and put the little chunky peppers in it afterwards intact. Yay! Okay, so there's the chickpeas in the Instant Pot. I'm just going to turn that on manual. For 45, I know that might be overkill, and then I'm um, then I'm sealing the lid. 45 minutes is going to be longer than I need, but that's what I'm going to do. Why 45 minutes? You say it only takes 25 in mine. <laughs> I didn't soak them overnight, and it's probably 25 minutes on a pressure cook anyway even if you didn't but I'm just going 45 because then I know that my chickpeas will be very well done cooked great and it'll make a nice and creamy um, hummus because I want the hummus to, I want the peas to be really creamy and I want the bell pepper uh, to be the crunch be have some crunch so when I'm like dipping my carrots in it or uh, putting it on a sandwich, <clears throat> which I have that little flat, that little flat bread, that flax bread that I have. When I put it on the sandwich, it'll already have the bell pepper crunch in it, and it'll be nice and creamy like a spread, but chunky. So that's how I like it, and that's how I'm gonna do it. Yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, so. As it's still cooking, I'm going to pre-season the hummus. Onion powder, because I don't have any onions. Let me get some real garlic. garlic because I love garlic that's just regular minced garlic packed in water two hairs just a tablespoon of vegetable broth One shake of smoked paprika. One and a half. <laughs> One shake of salt free Mrs. Dash original. Just one. Oh, it's a pot's coming up to pressure. Look out! Okay, I need something anti-inflammatory, right? I didn't want to do turmeric because I didn't want to make it yellow. But I'm going to do one teaspoon of ground flax. A heapy teaspoon of ground flax. Got to get all the anti-inflammatory stuff in I can, you know. Going to be an interesting two weeks ahead. Okay, let's see, instead of like regular olive oil or whatever, I'm going to use 
a heapy tablespoon of just mayo. And it's got a little bit of chive in it. Just because I finished making potato salad and it had chives in it. I mean, five minutes ago, if you see the video. The videos aren't in sync, unfortunately. So that's what we got so far. Okay, the hummus is done. It's vented. I hadn't opened it yet. But what I decided to do instead of originally what I said I was going to do is use these double divided things and put the bell peppers over here and the hummus in here. That way you can make a sandwich with smooth or chunky or use it for dip or not. Uh, and uh, I got enough bell peppers chopped up for two of them. So I might have to make another round of um, chickpeas, but let's see how that works out. Okay, well there's my chickpeas with the flash came on, I don't know why. Anyway, there's the chickpeas. Uh, finished in the instant pot for 45 minutes, nice and poofy. I'm only gonna use just a little bit of that aquafaba, um, but um, let's see how much we end up needing. Okay, so this is how many chickpeas, this of the batch, and there's just a few stragglers in the pot here. Just a few stragglers. So, um, I'm going to get like a ladle and use like three quarters of a label, ladle, which gives me fluid up to right here. That might be too much, you know. Uh, we'll, we'll just try and uh, get the old Nutribullet out. Excuse my tank top, it's all stretched out for some reason. And then we'll get to shake that up a little bit to get the stuff out of the bottom into the top. I think that's going to be too much fluid, we'll see. We'll see. If it is, we'll add more chickpeas from the second batch. not spinning at all. It's really, really thick, so that means I have to add more fluid. I can't get it open now. Oh, for God's sakes, I can't get it open. Hold on. That looks about like what I want. No, I'm, I, I want it just a little bit thinner. Scrape down the sides here. So we'll add another ladle. Add another ladle worth of fluid. Try it again. I don't have a blender. This is all I have. 
I really just need a blender because that's one speed or nothing at all. We'll see if I can get this open. That's better. That's better. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so let's get this. See if I can get you down here further. Let's start scooping it out. I need a bigger spoon. That's a really good. Oh, let me taste it. Mmm, yeah. Hot. Woo. <laughs> yeah, I probably just need my silicone, silicone spatula here. trying to do this in a way you can see what I'm doing. But right now I'm going to have to change hands. What am I going to do next week? Ah. That looks good, don't it? engineered it to make it fit in this but then I decided to separate it and use this so I don't know I like this though this is really really good as a sandwich spread people and put your bell pepper in on top for crunch yeah There's one batch. Yay. Hard not to eat all this. <laughs> Let me clean the edges here. Okay. You know, just to make it pretty. I put little parsley flakes on it. Just to make it pretty. And there you have it. Alrighty then. One down, one to go. Okay, we're back for round two, second batch of hummus. Got it ready to go. Already put the seasoning in the bottom here. Let's get it maneuvered here to kind of blend a little bit. From the bottom. I should have put that to the top, not the bottom. And then here we go again with round two. <clears throat> Make sure that's all good. Spins real high speed like that, that just means it's not meeting the blade. So it's pretty thick. It's not coming to the bottom, as you can see. I don't know if I can. Oh man. I can feel that all the way to my elbow. Sure would be glad to get this stuff fixed. I'll just get a light on. Add more juice. Try it again. Play it again, Sam. 
is going to be my last thing for the night because I'm going to bed. It's 10 o'clock already. Oh, let's try to incorporate that a little bit. Plug it back in. upside down. Let it do it. That here it comes. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Isn't that beautiful? That's a beautiful thing. I think that's better than the first batch. To tell you the truth. Nice and creamy. Beautiful. Sorry, my hand's gonna obstruct. Well, maybe not. I'll just use the left hand. Better get used to using the left hand for temporary, temporarily. I've heard from a lot of people that's had the surgery I'm having. I get mixed reviews. Some say that it took them like three months to get better. My brother said three months on him, and he just had the ulnar nerve done. He didn't have the carpal nerve release, so that kind of concerns me a little bit. But I am a winner. I'm not. He's a winner too, though. But okay, so there you go. And where's my lid? Again, we're going to pre it up with some parsley. And there is the reverse engineered by volume second pack of hummus. Yum! Okay, folks, that's it for tonight. Um, I got a lot done today, I think. Uh, countdown is, uh, it's 9.30 Saturday, 9.30 Sunday, 24, and 8 is 32, 36 hours to go until I have my surgery. So... I'll see what I can get done tomorrow, and I didn't do my quinoa today, but I figured quinoa is going to be easy, and I have one, two, th I have <clears throat> three of these containers left, and I have one of these left, but you know what, that Bob's Red Mill, that was some good stuff, man, that bean and grain mix, that was very, 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 very good. Um, I don't know what else I, I would want to make ahead right now. Um, I've got potato salad, i got collars, baked beans. Yes! So, tomorrow's adventure is going to be baked beans out the yin-yang. <laughs> there you go. That's what I can do. Tomorrow will be baked beans in the iPod. Yeah! All right, we'll see you. Have a good one. It's going to take me forever to upload all these videos and get them edited and everything else. So they're not going to be exactly in the order or whatever. 
Um, you might be seeing some of them after I've already had surgery. Um, I'll just do my best to, because everything I've got, you know, after, I'm not supposed to eat or drink anything after midnight tomorrow. Uh, and Patty's picking me up at 10.15 Monday morning to take me to the hospital. Um, or to the orthopedic place, orthopedic hospital. So, um, I'll probably go to bed about 9.30 uh, tomorrow night. And, um, uh, I'll get what I can do get done then, by then, or at least schedule a bunch of them, you know, whatever can get uploaded to YouTube in time. I'll go ahead and schedule them out, um, because I know, I, well, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to use the computer because I'm, you know, I, it, it's just going to take too long. I can't edit software without my right hand. Uh, we're we're going to see how it goes, but um, <clears throat> hold on to these videos and, you know, refer back to them or what have you. It's very likely for the next, until I get that sling off. Um, that I won't be able to upload videos, or if I do, they won't have an intro to them. Like I can, I, I can, um, I can record this and upload it directly to YouTube, but I won't be able to like type in what it's about and this and that and the other. So they'll just be really rushed videos. And sorry about that. I know I'm dead sexy. <laughs> um, you know what I mean, right? Okay, so we'll see you tomorrow for some uh, baked beans. Dang, you know, baked beans suck without onions in them. But we're going to make that onion powder work, right? And tomorrow's my last day to go. I've got $7 left on my food stamp card. Or EPT. <sighs> And so I'm kind of thinking I'm going to need some more. I want to get some more almond milk. I want to get some so delicious uh, coffee creamer. And that's going to be it. That's going to be the $7. So, um, but I need, I want to get it because I just want to get it. Go ahead and get it done. Get her done. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.